Welcome back to Hunter's Instinct. Uh, we are checking out my two year review on the Killer Instinct Lethal 405, which has been uh, a pretty good bow. I took a couple of deer with it and uh, shot a couple of deer with it. One I couldn't find, it was just a shot placement on my part. And uh, the third, the second one that I couldn't find is because it was in. Uh, another guy's truck but y'all should uh, if y'all watch the season y'all should know how that turned out and why well, I say that but uh, I seen where there's been a lot of limbs cracking and stuff and people's been hollering you know heavier boats heavier boats 500 600 grain I've been shooting 420 to 430 which I don't shoot a lot I just shoot it when uh, uh, probably about a month before season comes in I'll shoot it a couple times, make sure everything's still on the up and up, and uh, and then the day before season opens, I'll get it out and shoot, make a couple of shots with it, and uh, make sure everything's dialed in, ready to go. And I do shoot the uh, the Carbon Express Mayhem's. with a 100 grain broadhead. It's the Muzzy HBX Trocar uh, hybrid mechanical with fixed blades. There's the mechanical. There's the fixed. And both of these does cut on impact. And I'm not have these not to open yet. So uh, if it works, I kind of stick with it and on the quiver some of these uh, mechanical broadheads you want to take the foam piece out that your broadhead sets in that way your broadhead ain't sticking out like that when you're carrying it in through the woods or on your thing so just keep that a reminder I mean I just cut that in half and everything fit down into the quiver perfect so you know all in all pretty good and it slides in and out good on the bottom where the quiver rest goes so but uh, let's get to the bow all in all this is a a real good bow the price range comes in around uh, I think I got this on sale for like a hundred ninety nine dollars 97 cents or something like that and it come out to be like two a little over 200 and I think you can get these uh, off sale at uh, $219 or something like that 209 some places and I'm not sure but as you see I've not had the head replaced and it is in good shape I mean, it's not in new shape, but I mean, I have put it through the ringers, going in blinds and let it take a beating and stuff. But all in all, these are all smooth on both sides. So, you know, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. No cracks, no nothing. Mind you, I'm not using a heavy boat, but uh, here's where, uh, you know, I'm kind of disappointed. The first year I had it, I did have some problem with the string. And it's the servants. As you can see, like, uh, let me see if I can get you a little bit closer over here on this side. servings right here see how they come apart which I'll just take a lighter and burn it but I'm going to replace the string this year and 
and uh, I'm gonna go with 60 extreme I think it's what it's called uh, it's what uh, Chris went to and so he liked it pretty good so that's what I'm gonna go with the cables I mean they're not in terrible shape but you know eventually I'm gonna have to replace them as you can see like uh, See if I can get you in all that real good. Like right here, it's kind of like coming apart there. But I mean, it's not nothing major. Uh, I can live with it but I mean like I said I will replace it later on and the trigger Got a nice swing around here a little bit. It's really nice. It's not bad, but one thing I don't like about it is the safety. See how loud it is. So I mean, which ain't bad. I mean, you know, you can quiet it down by using your finger. But I mean, for the money, you know, you can't really expect much. I like to have that just a little bit quieter. And as you can see, I am using the uh, AR style single. I kind of like it real good. I'm getting used to it because I'm usually used to like a, a rifle strap, not the single position strap, but I'm kind of getting used to it. And this is the the Killer Instinct one, Bone Collector Edition, I don't know. But uh, now we're back to the scope. And I really like everything here. It's really solid. Uh, have no issues out of it at all. But the scope, uh, for the money, I mean, I think it could be a little bit better, but I mean, it is a. Uh, uh, two light stage uh, reticle but I think it could have been designed a little bit better but I mean for what it is I mean for the money that you got into the bowl I mean it is good I mean I ain't really got much complaints about it but I think it the reticle could be just a little bit better and the way that you uh, focus and stuff with it it's could have been a little bit better but all in all you know it it does the job but uh, you know uh, if I was wanting to buy a crossbow and somebody asked me you know what would be a good bow to buy for the money I would tell them this bow here will be an excellent bow to buy it's uh, real nice and stable uh, I like the way it feels when you put it up to your shoulder and everything I may upgrade the scope 
later on. I'm not really for sure yet. Uh, if it keeps on shooting good. And the first scope I had on it that come with it, uh, I don't know exactly what happened to it. If the radical had broke or what happened, but not too long after I got it and got it lined up, I had to get another one. And Killer Instinct's got a killer customer service and it was in the mail in no time and got it by the end of the week so you know their customer service is good and that's a plus and I just kind of hope they ain't building their bows around the warranty that they got I hope they're building the warranty around the bows that they got but they are putting so many crossbows out these days that it's you know it's going to happen where they uh, don't get some out there that's kind of bad but I mean it don't really happen much uh, to killer instinct so I mean but all in all it's uh, they're good uh, I'm really satisfied with the with the bow and how everything turns out and how it's been working for me and uh, if you want to see how it performs just go back and look at the uh, past videos I think in season two is when I started using it and you can go to season two I used it a little bit last season <coughs> excuse me and uh, but all in all it's a great bow uh, if you're looking for a, you know, a, like they say, a budget rifle, this is a budget crossbow. And for the price point, can't really beat it. And I mean, you know, these uh, strings here has lasted a long time. And, uh, but the servings on them just started coming off a little bit sooner than I want it to. But all in all, it's a good bow and just little minor icks and picks here you know it's probably no big deal you can replace the string for like 30 some dollars you can find another scope for like 80 dollars or if you want to go with the speed ring scope you know it's anywhere from uh i think 88 dollars 89 dollars and and sometimes you can find them on clearance for hardly nothing so all in all, this is a good bow. And uh, as you can see, I got them sitting on my bog pod, which was an excellent addition to it. Uh, it made setting up the bow and everything a whole lot easier uh, for my daughter to shoot, for me to shoot, and uh, for any youth or for any beginner, or you know, if you're sitting in a blind or even on the ground. You know, like you see me do a lot uh, of hunts that I set the ground, on the ground. But, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope this helping you out a lot. And, uh, we're going to be uh, getting out and checking the cameras and see what made it through. I did get a picture of uh, 33. He survived. And, uh hope y'all uh, follow along with me to uh, see how I set up on him and uh, I'm gonna really go after him this year uh, I could have killed him last year during rifle season but uh, I decided to let him go one more year I wasn't really worried about him lose, leaving the farm because as I was checking out the uh, trail cameras, he was staying there. So we'll talk about that later. And I uh, hope this video helped you out a lot. Hit the subscribe, like, and share button. And we'll keep on bringing the videos to you. And keep on hunting, keep on shooting, and getting out and enjoying the great outdoors. Thank you for watching.